हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप एवरीवन इज गुड एंड हेल्दी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेक्चर इन द जैंगो सीरीज आई हैव सर्च अ लॉट इन द यूट्यूब एंड एवरीवेयर देर इज नो प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन और प्रॉपर वीडियो फॉर द ईमेल वेरिफिकेशन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट देर इज अ लेटेस्ट मॉड्यूल फॉर ई मेल वेरिफिकेशन विच हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द जैंगो सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट मॉड्यूल this is the same project which we have worked in the first django lecture series so i am taking the same project and i will explain the email verification in the same project so let's begin first of all open the terminal in the project and activate your environment then we will install the package we will install the package using pip pip install django iphone email iphone verification yeah the requirements is already satisfied because i have installed it already i want to give a small brief about this package this is the workflow of the package which we are using right now in our project first a user creates an account then the user is added into the database then we will call a send confirm function which takes the argument as a user after calling this function a user is set to non active and it generates a token and it also starts the email thread then the thread sends the email and the token verification and the account activation will be in this way first the user clicks on the link which has been sent to the email and we will define some urls in the urls.py page and if the url is matched like if the token is valid then it returns yes so we will return a success page and activate the user and delete the token but if the token is invalid then simply we will show the user an error first we have to go to the settings.py file and we have to register the app which we have just installed so in the installed apps mention django underscore email underscore verification and this registers in the django project then we have to add some parameters as well in the same settings file page so just copy this so i will explain you what all these fields email active field this is the user model field which will be set to true once the email is confirmed and email server this is nothing but our mail provider server for example for a gmail mail server is smtp.gmail.com email port and this is again our mail provider server port which is 587 for gmail and in the email address we have to mention our email address and email from address this can be any alternative email email password and you have to give your email password here email mail subject this is the subject of the mail which we have to send to any user for the verification email mail html this is the html page that how the mail should be looked email mail plane this is the mail body which is written in the form of .txt file it is needed only when the html page is not defined email page template this template shows the success or error view that a user has verified his email address or not email page domain this is the domain of our website like uh, where we host the current django project so let's edit these things we have to edit the email address like put our email address here and in email from address we can keep the same email address not a problem in email password we have to write our email password but there is a small restriction while using our email password but i want to show you that error let's go with our normal email password so i am writing that in the email subject we can write confirmation confirm your mail it's fine email html we will create a mail body dot html file in this file we are just giving the body of the email 
like this will be sent to your email address and in the link this link is given dynamically by the django so don't worry about this link just copy and paste this in your django project and go to the settings file again we don't need this email mail plane in case you want to check this you have to create a txt file in the same templates folder this would be something like this this link is given dynamically again by your django project so don't worry about that email page template we have to create one more template for the confirmation and yeah in here you can see in the body when the email is verified you will get to see this message you have confirmed your account but in case if you haven't verified the email you will get this error error invalid token this is shown in the response page now let's go into the views and create a view for sending the email first we will import from django dot dot import get user model from django email verification we will import the send confirm function let's define a view now def send email and it is a request we have to grab the data in the post request so first password equal to request dot post dot get which is password in the same way username request dot post dot get username and email request dot post dot get the email fine let's create the user model user equal to get user model is a function dot objects dot create username equal to username password equal to password and email equal to email after creating the user immediately we will call the send confirm function send confirm and the argument would be the user which we have created just now and then we will return the page render off request comma the confirm template html file confirm underscore template dot html this shows whether the user is verified or not verified we are done with this function now we have to go to the urls and for the token verification we have to use some urls here from django underscore email underscore verification import urls as mail urls we can use the path here path of email email slash comma include mail urls yep we are done we are almost done with the email verification process but there are two errors which we have to handle 
first let's try by running our project python manage.py run server No module named Django email verification. Okay, I have misspelled it. Okay, in the views verification. I'm sorry. Hope so. It should work now. Send email is not defined. Okay, you have to mention this in the URLs. You have to add this path as well in the urs.py so don't forget this this will be send email the url will be send email okay let's try again yes no issues i want to open the postman send email right and in the body in the form data we are giving username password and email okay let's send this request and see if there is any error occurring so this is the error which i was talking about earlier first we can do one thing go to the views.py it generally happens with the post request so here we are using the post request that's why we are getting the csrf token it is because it saves our data from cross site forgery that's why we are getting that error so for that we will exempt that with a decorator from django.views.decorators.csrf import csrf underscore exempt so we have to use this decorator upon our function go to the function and we can use the decorator in this form csrf exempt yeah now you will not get the error most probably let's see we are sending the request again you can see that error in the console. Uh, there is a syntax error. We will send the request again. Yeah, it's showing error invalid token but let me check my email if I got any email or not you can see there is no email which I have got from the other email of mine the send confirm hasn't worked but why let's check why it hasn't worked you can see here there is a small error raise SMTP authentication error this is because we are not logging in to our gmail account using any google app we are using a django and uh, we are giving our username and password for django and we are asking it to log in itself and send an email to other people and google doesn't accept this whenever a device uses gmail it has to be opened in the any google app like uh, chrome or the google gmail app itself but here we are not doing any of this for that we have to create an app password in the google account itself but this app password is like critical password with that password anyone can access your account so please put it safe and uh, there is no need to save that for that we have first we will create an app password open manage your google account go to the security field first do the two-step verification and now you can see these app passwords we have to create this app password select which app you are going to use i'm using mail app and the device would be you can put anything windows computer maybe generate you will be given an app password now just copy that don't save it anywhere paste this password in the password sections like where in the settings.py file email password empty this just paste your password i will switch off the server and try to run the server again it's not needed but i'm doing this yeah run the server again the account has been created but the email hasn't been sent to the user so that's why we are doing all this again i will delete the user once
yeah let's try now and we have to change this domain also sorry i forgot that just copy your local domain where you are using this control c done hope it should work fine now let's see yes it has been worked let's check if we got any email or not yes i got the email after one or two minutes you will receive the email please wait for the email this is the body which we have created in the mail body.html file and it is as expected before that let's log into the django admin and see how the user is being created okay in the users so you can see that this active field is not checked let's see what happens when we confirm the email let's click on this click here file. yeah you can see that you have confirmed your account once we will log in into our admin panel and check if the active Active user is checked or not. Go to the users. This is the account which I have been created right now. You can see that active field is checked. And now we have verified the email of the user. If you get any error during the confirmation of this email, rerun the server. And one more thing, please check the email page domain twice and thrice because this might throw the error and finally one task for you guys comment this line out and uh, try running the server and comment the result below i want to see what we get when we comment this line from your side guys and i think this email verification is very simple i hope you guys loved this video if this had worked for you please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much